hey guys it's phase one in this video i'll be covering the main upcoming features for player characters in star citizen for 2021 if you're new to this channel please make sure to subscribe for more star citizen content such as this i also stream on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so give me a follow there if you'd like to hang out and play some star citizen you can find me also on Twitter and Instagram as well. My links are in the description below. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first feature I'd like to discuss is FPS radar and scanning. This feature will be an improved signature system, supporting a much greater distance and dampening of signatures by environmental interferences and larger signatures. Improved scanning driven by the same signature system as the radar and ping available in ships and ground vehicles and FPS. Now this brings the idea of players having the option to engage mission scenarios by stealth. Maybe a player can wear some kind of special suit that can lower or dampen their body heat signature in order to avoid detection. A few months back, we did hear about bounty hunters having the ability to scan individuals on foot in order to identify them and to check to see if they have any outstanding warrants full time. I'm quite interested in hearing more about this. The duration of this feature will be 13 weeks and it's expected to be complete by Q2 2021. Up next is the visor HUD and helmet. This builds on the existing heads up display HUD with a new feel and look. Includes a new equip and remove experience, boot up and power down sequence and transition between FPS and ship HUD. This will take about 11 weeks and we should expect it by the end of Q4 2021. Next up is the zero G push and pull. Adding the ability for players to traverse surfaces in zero G by pushing and pulling with their hands. This will come into play when the player is wearing an EVA suit without thrusters or if the thrusters are turned off. It looks like CIG intends to create scenarios whereby the player character's EVA suit thrusters will malfunction or turn off. In game at the moment, the EVA suits require hydrogen which the player character is required to replenish should it deplete. I suspect that environmental effects or non-lethal weapons such as EMP devices can cause the EVA suits to malfunction. This will then require the player to push and pull in order to traverse in zero G. This can add more depth to PVP or even bounty hunting gameplay whereby bounty hunters are required to apprehend targets alive. This feature is expected to complete within 25 weeks and we can expect to see it at the end of Q2 2021. To go along with this is the EVA Tier 2. It says to improve the EVA experience following transition to the IFCS. Introduces limited EVA feel and encourages the use of 0G push and pull and multi tools like the tractor beam. This is expected to complete within 13 weeks. We should see it by the end of Q3 2021. Next is the personal inventory. When implemented, players will physically store weapons, gadgets, consumables, and healing items, and more on their person, and in vehicles via backpacks, pockets, and containers. This utilizes the new iCache for persistence wherever players travel. At the moment, we have personal inventory in game but limited to just food and drinks when it comes to personal mining cig has already implemented backpacks to store mine crystallized rocks once this comes online with iCash, it can change the way players play the game we can expect the beginning of looting we can expect to find loot to be populated all over the verse Explorers will be encouraged to spend more time at derelict sites because they can now find weapons, gadgets, or even unique items in the verse. The idea of finding rare items is such a great idea. Pirates will now have real reasons to engage other players and NPCs. 
In conjunction with environmental effects, players will also be encouraged to plan out their trips and ensure they bring items they need in any scenario. The idea of storing items in your ship will encourage players to take their ship's health and durability a little bit more seriously. The fear of losing your ship will be real. This one feature will change Star Citizen for the greater good. You can expect this to complete within 25 weeks by the end of Q2 2021. In addition, the player interaction experience with T1 lockers and inventory. Lockers T1 introduces a consistent way to store clothes, armor, items in a physical state. Also includes a more robust and tactile method to store items on shelves and attachment surfaces. This builds on the personal inventory, expanding on inventory UI to include lockers. So to go along with backpacks, pockets and containers can now store our items in lockers within our ship. All in all, this means that we will no longer have access to our global inventory via the Moby Glass. We will have to ensure that we plan our, our trips and bring what we need. We can expect this to complete in 13 weeks by the end of Q3 2021. Next is the healing T0 and actor status T1. The improved player status system focuses on implementing additional statuses, specifically intoxications and effects from drugs, and the associated functional and visual feedback. This will allow players to use items with healing properties, such as the med pen on other player characters and NPCs. This feature will begin to introduce the medical gameplay. At the moment, there is very little information about this, but as we get closer, I'm sure we'll hear more about this. This will take about 25 weeks to complete and we should expect this by the end of Q2 2021. Next is the force reaction. Expanding on the physical base reaction to physical forces. Actors are made to stagger and collide with their environment and experience inertia, regardless of being the pilot or not. This will take about 25 weeks and by Q2 2021, we should see this. Next is the cooperative locomotion. This mechanic allows players to grab larger objects and move them around an environment either to push or to pull. So now this will introduce the opportunity for players to change their environment in an effort to approach scenarios from a different angle. With this, there is an opportunity to have mission sets that will somewhat require you to find your way to certain areas by changing your environment like moving objects out of the way. This will take about 13 weeks and should complete by Q1 2021. Next is Bestoke Taking Place. Definable Bestoke Taking Place animation actions for specific items. For example, the Taking Place animation for a helmet should be different from a bottle or a grenade. This should take about 19 weeks and we should expect this by the beginning of Q3 2021. And lastly is the Ladder T1. Improve freedom and control while traversing ladders. Specifically, players will be able to aim, shoot weapons, use gadgets, heal, and complete one-handed actions. They will be able to dodge to the side to avoid gunfire or falling debris. We should expect this to complete within 23 weeks by the end of Q4 2021. So these are the player character features we should expect by the end of this year. If there's any feature that you're most excited about, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content such as this. And as I mentioned before, I'm on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. So make sure to follow me there as well. If there's anything in this video that you do like, make sure to leave a like. I will see you on the next one.